Welcome back. Veterans Day is a day when many Americans take time to honor and celebrate the sacrifice our troops have made. But this sacrifice comes at a high cost as each soldier returns with stories, scars, and sometimes wounds. Reporter Brian Baxter heads to Jacksonville, Florida to see how Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated is partnering with a nonprofit to honor those who have sacrificed so much. I'm a wounded warrior. I have very physical, obvious wounds. On November 10, 2004, Army Staff Sergeant Dan Nevins headed out for a combat mission in Balad, Iraq. His world was forever changed when a roadside bomb exploded, turning his vehicle into a ball of fire and sending it six feet in the air. There's some very obvious physical wounds. A bilateral amputee um, started as a single below the knee, then ultimately three years later took my other leg because it was, it was garbage. The whole world is basically over in my mind. Dan's feeling of hopelessness was relinquished when a representative from the Wounded Warrior Project gave him a backpack filled with basic necessities. But inside was a shirt, a pair of shorts, so I didn't really need the socks, but, but, there were, but they were in there. Calling card, CD player, all these really cool things and I'm like, wow, I need this stuff right now. And I tell you, I probably will never receive a more significant gift in my life than, than that backpack. Many more troops are now receiving those same backpacks from the Wounded Warrior Project. The organization began when a retired Army veteran took action with other veterans and friends who were moved by stories of the first wounded service members returning home from Afghanistan and Iraq. What started as a program to provide comfort items to wounded service members has grown into a complete rehabilitative effort to assist warriors as they recover and transition back to civilian life. So he maxed out a bunch of his family's credit cards and they started stuffing backpacks in his basement. And then he begged and borrowed and pleaded his way into Walter Reed and um, delivered those first 50 backpacks at the bedside of these newly injured that came back. Today, thanks to generous sponsors like Cydectin, a product by Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica, the Wounded Warrior Project has grown into an organization with more than a dozen different programs designed specifically to honor and empower wounded warriors. You know, it's very easy for someone to lose themselves in this and let their injuries define who they are. And one thing that's great about Wounded Warrior Project and all the things that we do is we help people refine themselves. The end result or the goal of all of our programs is to make this the most successful, well-adjusted generation of veterans in this country's history. And we do that in mind, body, and economic empowerment. The organization's dedication to heal and transform these wounded warriors is apparent in everything, even their logo. What's really great about Wounded Warrior Project is our logo. It's one warrior carrying another. They all start as the guy on top of the logo and they all finish as the guy on the bottom carrying the next guy through. And that's just amazing to think about. And to watch that happen through all these different programs that we have is just it's awesome because we have a, an environment here and we've created a platform that helps warriors help each other. And the staff knows that not all the challenges these soldiers face are physical. And there's over 39,000 physically wounded um, since the start of conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. But studies estimate that's over 300,000 more that are suffering in, with, in silence from the invisible wounds. And we're trying to reach out to those people. From adaptive sports like biking and skiing to assistance with benefits, there are many ways for wounded warriors to get plugged in. One unique program called TRAC is the first education center in the nation designed specifically for wounded warriors. It's a year-long program. It's in-house. Um, we actually pay to move people here for a year, and we pay for their utilities, we pay for their housing, we pay for their school. Um, if they need to break a lease to come here, we pay to do that. We pay them to be here and basically take all the excuses away. They take uh, computer classes together. They also take resume prep, etiquette, social kind of classes together um, because a lot of these men and women, all they knew was how to be a soldier or Marine and now we're teaching them how to be a civilian. But the result of all this is 100% of our graduates going on to full-time school or full-time employment. And that's something that they thought they'd never have again. 
it's just amazing to watch these the, the transformation physically, emotionally, mentally, the whole package. Another program called Project Odyssey helps wounded warriors engage with their peers to begin the healing process. Project Odyssey is amazing. It's a place where warriors can come together, one, and then they compete in like, or they, I guess compete's the right word, they do physical things together. Um, obstacle course, ropes courses, whether it's uh, you, uh, equine therapy, doing something on horses, working horses. Um, they do something together just to kind of get their mind off of, you know, whatever it is. And at nighttime, um, in the presence of, of professionals and, and peer mentors, they open up and share stories. And, um, and that's where the real healing is. Um, whether they tell their dark secrets or tell their, you know, their guilt or their um, whatever it is, hearing the other people share theirs is just as healing. Um, I've gotten letters, I've seen letters to other people that say, I don't know what you did. Sorry, um, I don't know what you did to my husband, but it, it's amazing. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And it's, it's, it's those letters and those stories that make you feel really good about what you do. While helping the soldiers is extremely important, the staff knows their families need support too. And obviously it's not as immediate as what that warrior goes through, but it is just as long and it's just as severe and it's just as impactful in the whole family unit. And it's more than, the, more than just the warrior needs healing, it's the whole family. And whatever we can do when we f identify those needs, we try to fill them. All of these programs would not be possible without financial support. The Wounded Warrior Project is completely funded by donations from the general public and through corporate sponsors like Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica and its product, Cydectin. As a Wounded Warrior, this Cydectin donation has really empowered me to be able to honor and empower other Wounded Warriors. Um, I, feel, I feel honored to be able to be a part of it. I feel that this is um, a great vehicle to get our word out. Sponsorships like this enable us to do everything. It's sponsorships like this that help us budget for next year. It helps us figure out what we need to do. It helps us basically at the end of the day deliver these programs and services that are literally changing and saving lives. Our, our country was founded on a couple things, hard work and patriotism. Um, and you, you don't work harder than when you work if you're a uh, you know, cattleman. You know, there's so many things, the end result of their hard work, same thing with, uh, with a soldier. You know, they're working hard to protect our way of life. And um, it's those type of people that make our country go around. And it's, it's great to know that, that they're involved with what we're doing. And it's really powered by individuals on the ground who are making a difference and making a choice to use that product. And by making that choice, they're also making the choice to help our organization help these veterans. Reporting from the Wounded Warrior Project headquarters in Jacksonville, Florida, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated and Cydectin are the beef industry's first sponsor of the Wounded Warrior Project. For more information on the program or to donate to the organization, just visit our website at cattlemen2cattlemen.org or cydectinhonorstroops.com.